welcome back to our channel, where we explore the wonders of the world. Today, we're diving deep into the mysteries of the Great Pyramid of Giza, the oldest and most iconic of the seven wonders of the ancient world. Did you know that the Great Pyramid of Giza served as the final resting place for the fourth dynasty pharaoh Khufu? It's mind-boggling to think that this colossal structure was built over 4,500 years ago. Construction of this marvel began in the early 26th century BC and lasted for a staggering 27 years. The dedication and ingenuity of the ancient Egyptians never ceased to amaze us. Standing at an impressive height of 138.5 meters, 454.4 feet, the Great Pyramid held the title of the world's tallest man-made structure for over 3,800 years. Can you imagine the sheer scale of this ancient engineering feat? Let's talk materials. An estimated 2.3 million large blocks, weighing a total of 6 million tons, were used in its construction. Most of these blocks were rough and uneven, but the Egyptians expertly bound them together with mortar. Now, here's something fascinating. The Great Pyramid was once covered in a smooth, white limestone casing. Unfortunately, over time, most of it was removed, revealing the underlying core structure we see today. Exploring the pyramid's interior is like stepping into history. Inside, you'll find three known chambers. The lowest chamber remains unfinished, while the queen's chamber and the king's chamber, housing a granite sarcophagus, are located above ground within the pyramid's structure. Rumor has it that Khufu's vizier, Himiunu, might have been the mastermind behind this incredible architectural wonder. Yet, there are still many debates and theories surrounding the exact construction techniques used. But wait, there's more. The Great Pyramid was not just a solitary structure. It was the centerpiece of a grand funerary complex. Connected by a causeway, there were two mortuary temples, one near the pyramid and another close to the Nile. And let's not forget the smaller pyramids nearby. These were built for Khufu's wives, ensuring a royal resting place for the entire family. Finally, buried beneath the sand, also archaeologists have discovered five ancient solar barges. These boats were believed to transport Khufu's soul to the afterlife. The construction of the Great Pyramid has been attributed to Pharaoh Khufu. But did you know that during the Middle Ages, other figures were credited with its creation? Joseph from the Book of Genesis, Nimrod, and even the legendary King Sorad Ibn Salhauk were among those mentioned. Now, let's talk about the incredible discoveries made inside the pyramid. In 1837, while tunneling, four additional relieving chambers were found above the king's chamber. These chambers were covered in hieroglyphs of red paint, providing valuable insights into the workers who built the pyramid. Beyond the pyramid, a vast cemetery complex was unearthed. Family members and high officials of Khufu were buried there. The east field, located south of the causeway, and the west field contained the final resting places of Khufu's wives, children, grandchildren, as well as his vizier Himiunu and the funerary cache of Hitafir's eye, Khufu's mother. Tomb inscriptions found in the chapels mention Khufu and his pyramid. Titles like Chief of the Settlement and Overseer of the Pyramid City of Ake Khufu or Priest of Khufu highlight the connection between the tomb owners and the pharaoh. Interestingly, some individuals incorporated the king's name into their own, indicating their close association. Even in the New Kingdom, the Great Pyramid and its neighbor, the Pyramid of Khafer, were still attributed to Khufu and Khafer. A stela found near the Great Sphinx of Giza, dating back to the reign of Amenhotep II describes how he admired the beauty of the sanctuary of Khufu and Khafer. In 1954, two boat pits were discovered at the south foot of the pyramid. One of them contained the Khufu ship, and interestingly, the blocks covering the pits had the cartouche of Jedefra, Khufu's successor and eldest son. This suggests that Jedefra may have been responsible for the burial arrangements. One of the most remarkable discoveries related to the Great Pyramid was the Diary of Mirror, found at Wadi al-Jarf in 2013. This papyrus document details the transportation of white limestone blocks from Tura to the pyramid, mentioning its original name, Ake Khufu, numerous times. Picture this, it's the year 2013, and archaeologists make an astonishing discovery at Wadi al-Jarf, an ancient Egyptian site. 
Among the sands of time, they uncover a precious gem, a papyrus document that would change our understanding of history forever. This remarkable papyrus document, known as the Diary of Mirror, dates back to around 2560 BCE, during the reign of Pharaoh Khufu, the very pharaoh who oversaw the construction of the majestic Great Pyramid of Giza. But what makes this diary truly extraordinary? The Diary of Mirror provides us with invaluable insights into the construction techniques employed for the pyramids. Mirror, an official in charge of a team of workers, meticulously documented the transportation of massive limestone blocks from the quarries of Tura to the construction site at Giza. Can you imagine the scale of this undertaking? Here's where it gets even more fascinating. Mirror's diary not only reveals the techniques used for moving these colossal stones, but it also sheds light on the advanced organization and logistics employed by the ancient Egyptians. It mentions the use of boats to navigate the Nile River and canals, creating an efficient transportation network for these immense stone blocks. Through the Diary of Mirror, we catch a glimpse of the incredible engineering and planning skills of the ancient Egyptians. They meticulously orchestrated a large-scale construction project over long distances, a feat that still leaves us in awe today. But this diary is more than just a testament to the construction marvels of the past. It highlights the significance of record-keeping and documentation in ancient civilizations. The fact that Mirror took the time to write down these details demonstrates the ancient Egyptians' commitment to preserving their history and knowledge for future generations. Thanks to this incredible discovery, we can now deepen our understanding of the construction of the pyramids and uncover the secrets of the ancient Egyptians' remarkable achievements, even thousands of years later. It's a testament to the meticulousness and dedication of this civilization to preserving their rich cultural heritage. The rich cultural heritage of the Egyptians, a heritage that has captivated the world for millennia. When we think of Egypt, the magnificent pyramids and the enigmatic Sphinx often come to mind. But there's so much more to this extraordinary culture than meets the eye. The Egyptians were not only masters of architecture and engineering but also artists of unparalleled skill. Their vibrant wall paintings and intricate hieroglyphs depict a civilization deeply connected to the spiritual realm, a people who sought to immortalize their beliefs and stories for generations to come. Temples, rising like majestic giants from the desert sands, were not just places of worship, but the very heart of Egyptian life. Each temple held a unique significance, dedicated to different gods and goddesses, where rituals and ceremonies were performed with unwavering devotion. As we marvel at the treasures meticulously preserved in museums around the world, we come face to face with the ingenuity of Egyptian craftsmanship. Intricately carved statues, exquisite jewelry, and ornate sarcophagi reveal a people whose artistry knew no bounds. But the ancient Egyptians weren't solely focused on the material world. Their thirst for knowledge led them to create one of the earliest known writing systems, known as hieroglyphs. Through these complex symbols, they chronicled their history, recorded astronomical observations, and documented their advanced medical practices. Today, as we wander through the bustling streets of modern Egypt, we witness the merging of the old and the new. The traditions and customs that have been passed down through generations continue to thrive, reminding us that this cultural heritage is not simply a relic of the past, it is a living, breathing legacy. So let us embrace the wonder of Egypt's rich cultural heritage, for within it lies the key to understanding the triumphs, the struggles, and the eternal spirit of a civilization that has left an indelible mark on the tapestry of human history. And one more think a small fun fact about Khufu. Khufu was named after an early Egyptian god. Khufu's full name was Knum Khufwi. This was after the god Knum, one of the earliest known deities in ancient Egyptian. Knum was the guardian of the source of the river Nile and the creator of human children. As his prominence grew, ancient Egyptian parents began to give their children theophoric names relating to him. As such, the young Khufu's full name means, Knum is my protector. Thank you for joining us on this remarkable journey through time. Remember to like and subscribe and stay tuned for more explorations into the world's most fascinating cultures. Until next time, may the wonders of ancient Egypt continue to inspire us all. Thank you for watching.